The first thing I did to type faster that helped me get through 5,000 word essays in literally a day or two is that I improved what I call my short burst typing speed. And that was by only doing 15 second typing tests 10 times a day, usually using the website MonkeyType. Because in real life, when you type outside of typing tests, you aren't typing for minutes straight on. You type for a few seconds when a lecturer speaks and then stops. Or when you're typing up an essay and then take a break to think before carrying on. So instead of training your fingers for a marathon by trying to improve your typing speed across a minute long typing test, train it like a sprint and focus on the first 15 seconds. Because in real world use, that's the interval you'll be typing for most of the time. Like even though my one minute typing record is 184 words per minute, that didn't directly help me much for essays at medical school or help for my bachelor's or master's degree dissertations. But with 15 second or 15 word typing tests, I saw a much faster rate of improvement than one minute tests. Like I went from 130 words per minute to over 200 in a pretty short space of time. And that made me more productive at medical school because I could do things like keep up with taking lecture notes without having to pause or rewind a lecture recording. The next thing helped me go from typing around 110 words per minute to being able to consistently type above 150 words per minute within a few days. And this was to stop typing letter by letter and instead type by grouping syllables together as a single motion with your fingers. Like as an example, when I type the word typing, there's two syllables, Thai and Ping. So the first syllable is pressed more or less immediately together and the second syllable, Ping, is pressed together as well. Or if I type YouTube, U is done in one motion and Tube as another. And this does take a bit of getting used to. But it's all muscle memory, so as you start to actively group syllables together for some words, you'll end up doing it automatically for other words just after a few days and that's when you notice a massive bump in your typing speed. And okay, so these points kind of made that assumption that you know how to type without looking at your keyboard. And whether you're good at touch typing or not, what helps the most with real world use is getting practice with typing real sentences. But websites like 10 Fast Fingers or Monkey Type don't use real sentences. So what I'd recommend is using the website Type Racer, where you type quotes from real scripts and compete against real people at a similar level to you. And with this website, I saw how much of a difference in typing speed there was. Like on 10 Fast Fingers, I might have been consistently 160 words per minute, but on Type Racer with real sentences, I started at around 100 words per minute. But when I got used to using punctuations, using shift instead of caps lock, and making sure not to make mistakes, I got much better at touch typing and can type around 130 to 140 words per minute on Type Racer now too. And now with essays for medical school, I'm just much more fluid with pressing keys instead of having to search for things like apostrophes, brackets, or a full stop. Now the next thing is even more important than trying to type as fast as possible. And that's to make sure that you have 100% accuracy when you type. Like for me, some words I can type really fast, but some other words takes a lot more time. Especially with medical school when there's a lot of scientific terminology that I need to know. And what I used to do was try to maintain that higher speed for those words. But that usually ended up with me making mistakes. But on most typing websites like 10 Fast Fingers or Monkey Type, that's fine because you can make mistakes and carry on. But if you're writing an essay, you can't just ignore a spelling mistake and carry on. So similar to how I slow down on a piece I'm learning to play on the piano, I started to intentionally take more time on words that are slower to type because that helps develop the muscle memory to do it the right way by reinforcing you to press it the right way. And that eventually brings it up to speed with the other words. And remember, if you keep typing something wrong and don't slow down, you're just reinforcing the muscle memory to press it wrong in the future. So slow down and do it right. And the next thing literally saves me from ever having to rewind a lecture or makes spelling mistakes never be a problem for me. And that's knowing two of the biggest keyboard shortcuts that I never see anybody use. The first is a shortcut to delete a word at a time with a single press using the keys option and backspace. And the next is a shortcut to delete entire sentences using command and backspace. And it might sound like it's not that useful, but you know how annoying it is when you're in a lecture and you type something wrong and delete letter by letter and then you fall back on what the professor says and then you miss a bunch of stuff. So just condense all these presses to one single press so that you don't get slowed down by mistakes. And these tips focused a lot on keeping you from being slowed down by making you more efficient with how you type so that you can be more productive and make things like university work run much smoother. But typing faster is just one small piece in the puzzle to become as productive as humanly possible. So in this video here, I tried out the world's most productive person's routine for 30 days and made it even more productive. And you can learn about the biggest productivity habits I added into this routine so that you can start doing them too. 